Thanks for joining us tonight. Jan is off. Over the past several days, Hamlin University in St. Paul has been in the national news, the subject of op-eds and of commentary on cable networks. The issue, the university decided not to offer a professor another class to teach. That decision was made after they showed a depiction of the Prophet Muhammad in a global art history class. Tonight, Muslim leaders in our community are speaking out about what happened, and our Sammy Selina was there and has the latest on what happened. Sammy. Sharon, the Council on American Islamic Relations held a press conference and they commended the university on the handling of this situation. But many others say this is an egregious violation of academic freedom. They're calling for the professor to be reinstated. In an online lecture during a global art history class at Hamlin University, Dr. Erica Lopez Prater, an adjunct professor, showed an image of the Prophet Muhammad. She told the New York Times she took precautions before showing her students a depiction of the Prophet. She put a warning in her syllabus, asked students to contact her with any problems, and also told the class right before the painting would be shown in case they wanted to leave. But a student complained to university administrators, and as a result, Dr. Lopez Prater will no longer teach there. I'm 23 years old. I've never seen a picture of a prophet. The Muslim student in that classroom was Aram Wada Talaf. She says she's received a lot of threats since the incident. It hurts and it breaks my heart to stand here to tell people and beg people to understand me to feel what I feel. Today, the Council on American Islamic Relations said that Hamlin did the right thing. An email that is co-signed by Hamlin's president, Fainis S. Miller, says that, quote, respect for the observant Muslim students in that classroom should have superseded academic freedom. Jailani Hussein, the executive director of CARE, said the showing was very hurtful to the Muslim community. And Islamophobia can manifest in a variety of ways such as the recent incident at Hamlin University. He said that the professor's warnings weren't enough. The reality is a trigger warning is actually an indication that you're going to cause harm. But there is debate within the Muslim community. University of Minnesota PhD student and scholar Abdul Rahman bin Damnan wrote a Star Tribune op-ed. So as a foreign Muslim student, I really um, was not offended by showing a prophetic imaging. We as Muslims have different reactions to it. The American Association of University Professors is adamant that the university is in the wrong in dismissing the instructor. The instructor does not have ten does not have a tenured position, so they could quietly not renew the instructor and thought they put out a, a, a small fire. But in fact, the disregard for academic freedom in their actions is unbelievable. The administration at Hamlin is more concerned with their enrollments than educational values. Catherine Asher is an emeritus professor at the University of Minnesota and specializes in Islamic art. She has shown these depictions herself. Professor Erica uh, Lopez Prater had every right to show those images. They're historically uh, well known and extraordinarily important. Hamlin University has declined a request for an interview, but they did release a statement from their president today. Fainis Miller says suggesting the university doesn't respect academic freedom is absurd. She added, at the same time, academic freedom does not operate in a vacuum. Sharon? It's truly a complicated issue. Thank you for keeping an eye on this, Sammy.